Viral replication, lytic versus lysogenic cycle. The lytic cycle. In the first steps of the lytic cycle, the virus attaches itself to the surface of the host cell and injects its DNA inside. Enzymes then destroy the host's DNA. Next, the virus uses its genome to produce and assemble the necessary components of new copies of the virus and then spontaneously assembles them. In the final step, the cell lyses and releases new viruses, which would then cause the cycle to repeat. The Lysogenic Cycle this cycle begins in the same way as the lytic cycle with the virus injecting its DNA into the host cell. The DNA from the virus then becomes part of the DNA of the host cell, also known as a prophage. In the lysogenic cycle, every time the cell replicates, it also makes a copy of the virus, which is shown in the following illustration. At the end of the lysogenic cycle, there is a chance that the lysogenic cycle will leap back into the lytic cycle. This is known as spontaneous induction. The main difference between the lytic and lysogenic cycle is that the lytic cycle always ends in depth of the host cell and the lysogenic cycle does not.